everybody, everybody, everybody gets to see the cats. But thick as you are, pay attention. Good boy. Welcome back, Mangler Three. I'm here. We're going to continue with Honkai Star Rail. Um, I'll just continue with the regular story. Um, actually, I haven't even opened the game yet, so we'll be on here for a minute. Yeah. There we go. We're still in the ice, ice uh, area, ice planet. Dorillo, is it Dorillo? Jurillo Six, I think it's called. We got five star welt, I believe. It's our strongest character right now. Return to the surface. Quick, quick, quick. It's getting late. Where to now? It's a quest right here. I'm not going to do that one yet though. I'm going to do the main one. Power it up and then I'll go more quickly through the rest of them. Unless I like struggle and then I need to like get some magic or more power. Well my friends, are you ready to head out? Let's go. Wonderful! Remember to bring enough food and drink to refuel on the way. We have a lot of steps to climb. Returned. Rania, I thought. I thought I'd lost you. Where were you? Are, are you hurt? I'll fetch the butler right away. No, there's no need. I don't want to see Sebas right now. Sorry, Mother. I I'm fine, really. I just got into a few skirmishes down in the underworld, but nothing I couldn't handle. The underworld? Oh. I see. In that case, report everything you saw. Commander Branya. After the failed pursuit at Backwater Pass, the wanted outsiders and I were somehow taken to the underworld. Because of the difficult situation we were in, we formed a temporary alliance to help the residents of the underworld resolve a few issues of survival. We also defeated an ancient robot known as Svarog and learned some truths about the Stellaron. I'm listening. Go on. Madame Cacolia, it is my firm belief that the visitors from beyond the sky are not the villains we had imagined before. I witnessed them take up arms in the name of justice and risk their lives for the sake of others. I can also ascertain that they did come for the Stellaron, but only to relieve the disaster it has brought upon Bellabog. Mother? You've always known the truth about the Stellaron, haven't you? Well, the responsibility of bearing that truth will fall upon me one day. 
such as the burden of being guardian, to carry these secrets for eternity. So, I ask you to forgive my defiance, but I believe that the order to dispatch the outsiders was a mistake. To solve the problems brought on by the Stellaron, the architects waited hundreds of years, and those outsiders may be the... the... No, no! She's not happy. Arrogant. Ignorant. Oh, you disappoint me, Bronya. You merely glimpsed the tip of the iceberg. And now you think you know everything. You spend a short time with that underworld scum. And suddenly you have the audacity to question my orders. Guards! Take Bronya. They are not scum. My entire life, everything you ever kept from me. I remember it clearly now. This time, this time I am standing my ground, Madam Guardian. And please, stop dismissing me with vague excuses. Tell me what you have seen. What exactly it is you are hiding. Why do you send the Silverman guards to die in the Fragmentum? Why have you abandoned the people of the underworld? And why? Why did you have that sudden change of mind? Huh. I see. I knew this moment would come sooner or later. I just didn't expect it would be so soon. You want to know why I gave those orders? Is that right? Do you believe you're ready to learn the truth? Yes. I am ready. Mother, then come with me, Branya. It is time you heard it. The voice of this dying world. Is she the Stellar? Flavor is it? Aren't we missing something? Freedom. A cold. Mainly cold, actually. Let's go. Where's our next stop? We should find somewhere to put our feet up. As long as it's not Goethe Hotel again. Classic, unreliable Sampo. He probably guessed we'd ask where his hiding place was. No sooner are we back in the administrative district than he sneaks off. We should hide in plain sight. To the hotel. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Let's find Landau. Home is where the heart is. Back to the express. Let's say the friend in need. The bro or the need. sis? If you're talking about Chapard, we should be careful. He's a top Silvermane guard. He'd probably get a medal for every one of us he brought in. Don Hung? What do you think? I think it'd be best to pay a visit to Cheval Landau. So, you think we should avoid Jepard for the time being? He's an elite officer of the Silvermane Guards. It wouldn't be easy to get to him. Besides, if he hasn't been persuaded by Branya's letter, we'd be walking right into the lion's den. Hmm, makes sense. Guess we better head over to Cheval's workshop then? But... We must keep a low profile. We're still wanted fugitives. What's wrong, Zila? Nothing. It's just a little... new. The last time I was on the surface, I was still a child. I have no memory of any of this. The overworld and the underworld. We've... we've been cut off for so long. I'm okay. Let's go. There are so many Silvermane guards on patrol. Is it usually like this? No. I don't remember the security being this tight last time. We might have something to do with us. 
The Supreme Guardian has probably learned of our arrival already. Branya. It's the radiator fixers. <laughs> ah, I remember the three outsiders. Wait, why are you still strolling around the city? Do you know the silver main guards are looking all over for you? Quick, act natural and get inside. Don't get spotted. All right, you'll be safe here. My workshop has pretty good soundproofing, and barely anyone comes in. Just what crime did you commit exactly? They recalled a bunch of guards from the front line to track you down. It's unprecedented. Now they're patrolling the whole city, and everyone's in a panic! Oh, we just... Not yet much. Rania said we could trust you completely. You mean to say you don't trust me completely? Good! That's smart of you. But you needn't worry. Kokolia and I aren't even on speaking terms. It was her that ejected me from the Architects. I refuse to stand with her. I don't believe you guys would do anything bad. And the Architects are gonna need conclusive and publicly available evidence for me to think otherwise. Besides, I know the Architects, and if they did have any evidence, they would have released it by now. I know Kokolia's style. Get everyone into a frenzy, for most people in a frenzy don't stop to ponder the details. Do you know her well? So what details have we been pondering? Do you dislike her? Dislike? We were like sisters once. Inseparable. Of course, that was all before she became the supreme guardian. These days, I just spend my time fixing things in this workshop and playing music. It's a pretty carefree existence. If I'm not careful, I'll start boring you all with sob stories from the past. Let's get back to you guys. If long lost Branya told you to come here, you must have something important to tell me. You can trust me. I know our paths have only crossed once before, but my intuition tells me you guys are good people. And I've got good intuition, by the way. <laughs> we may as well tell the long and short of it from start to finish. We may as well cut to the chase and make a long story for it. I'll say Try not to embellish the facts. Telling Servo about your time in the underworld and what you know about the Stellaron. Something, something late. So that's what's been happening. No wonder we hadn't heard from Branya recently. After all these years in isolation and without a single word from below, this is what's become of the underworld? I believe you. There's no way you could have invented all those twists and turns. What's more, we have Miss Zila here as living proof. As for the Stellaron... I know why Branya got you to find me. When I was still one of the architects working in the Scientific Research Division, I was researching the Stellaron. I never thought I'd hear that word again after being expelled by the architects. Come on, I'll tell you everything. Only a very few people in Bellabog know of the existence of the Stellaron. Those that do would never associate it with the Fragmentum or Eternal Freeze. But according to the data recorded in that robot, Sparag, the architects dug out the truth long ago. The research results were purposely hidden away to ensure that the outside world would never know of them. Just my luck. Out of all the research topics I could have chosen, I insisted on the Stellaron. It's clear now that anyone who wanted to get closer to the truth would have been expelled or abandoned. Maybe I should be thanking Kokolia. All she did was push me out. She could have decided to take a more permanent measure. How do you know so much about Stellaron? Do you know what her end goal is? Can we talk to Jepard? Kokolia. <laughs> it's been so many years since we last spoke. We were great friends once. There was nothing we wouldn't share. She became a completely different person when she took on the Supreme Guardianship. The convictions she once held, her enthusiasm... 
It was like they were drawn out of her by some mysterious force. She gave the order to expel me herself and refused to see me. I never understood that behavior and I gave up trying to use logic to work it out a long time ago. Sometimes I even wonder whether she really did become a different person. Is that possible? Perhaps there's a single guardian consciousness that gets handed down from generation to generation. And the real Kokolia has already vanished. Is she being compelled by previous generations of guardians to make such baffling decisions? <sighs> Who knows? But this might make for good songwriting material. <laughs> She's a guitar player. How much you know about Stellaron? I figured out that the Stellaron and the Fragmentum were linked, so I was already close to the truth. It's a shame that the Architects ejected me before I could discover that the source of the Fragmentum was the Stellaron itself. Before I lost my position, I was applying for permission to survey the Stellaron directly. It was my research topic, but I'd never even set eyes on it. My research was all based on historical data and lab simulations. Not long after I submitted my preliminary report and application, I received my punishment. It was obvious that somebody didn't want my research to continue. Can we talk to your brother? <laughs> Japard? Not a chance. He's a decent guy, but also famously uncompromising. For my brother, orders are more important than anything. Even if you stuck Branya's letter to his forehead, he wouldn't be swayed. You need to choose your words carefully if you want to persuade him of something. It might be best if I talk to him. Though, I'd need a strategy first. You know where the stellar yes. is? Yes. I never observed it directly, but... I used lab simulations and outbound surveys to establish a rough location. According to the survey results, the Stellaron is likely to the north of Bellabog, somewhere in the vast snow plains. We must locate it as soon as possible, ideally before Kokolia takes action. Can you tell us the way? Not a problem. I was thinking the same thing, but I'm afraid telling you might not be enough. The area to the north of Bellabog has been more or less swallowed up by the Fragmentum. If you want to get to the northern snow plains, you'll need to get past the Silvermane Guard restricted zone on the front lines first. Even if you get past the restricted zone in one piece, you'll have a whole heap of Fragmentum to deal with. Whole heap of Fragmentum? Correct. And it's different from the underground towns you described. The Fragmentum there has quite literally torn everything to pieces. There's no sign of life, despite the monsters. It sounds like the three of us and Zila might not be enough. Why don't we go back underground and get Wildfire to come with us? I fear we may not have the time. Hey, enough pessimism. Back in my official capacity days, I spent a lot of time in the north. I got to know the soldiers and officers on the front line very well. This calls for brain waves, not brawn waves. How about I take you over myself? Really? Great! Phew. It's less scary if someone you know is leading the way. <laughs> I want to see the Stellaron too, you know. It was my research topic for over a decade. You don't get that many decades in life. That's settled then. There's no time to lose. We should head out as soon as you're ready. D <sighs> Darn it! I forgot my brother said he'd be around today. Find somewhere to hide, quick! I'll handle him. Hard. It's you. I didn't think you'd have the time to visit with things so tense on the front line. <laughs> things are manageable. The latest wave of monster attacks has slowed. 
I'm back in the city to take care of a few matters, but I'll be back on the front line later. I thought I told you. Ah! Oh, yes. That's right. Sis, you look a bit pale. Did something happen? N no Why would anything have happened? You don't normally use my full name. Uh, you said you hate it when I call you bro in public. Well, I agree. It'd sound better if I started using your full name. Right, Brosif? You can call me whatever you like. Look, Serval, I'm here on official business today. There's something wrong with the barrier generator device, and the engineers in our unit don't know how to fix it. I need you to take a look. Those guys can't think outside the box. Of course they can't wrap their heads around my design. <sighs> I thought it was something big. Leave it here. I'll take a look. Sorry to trouble you. Why are you being so polite? Oh, and why is the city under curfew all of a sudden? Has something happened? I... I've been instructed to keep it quiet. Oh, Jeppy. So grown up now, looking down on his civilian sister. Don't say that. Ah, forget it. If I don't tell you, Pela will. Last night, Lady Bronya suddenly appeared. She entered Klopoth Fort without saying anything to anyone. The Supreme Guardian is worried that the three intruders may have followed Bronya out of the Fragmentum and back into the Administrative District. She issued a curfew for the entire city and ordered us to pursue and capture any suspicious individuals. Ah, so that's how it is. No wonder I haven't heard from Bronya. Is she all right? I'm not sure. She hasn't left Klopoth Fort. The Supreme Guardian just said she'd returned. Nothing more. <laughs> well, I was sure worried about her. After she disappeared, Pela's workload doubled. She said she barely had time to go out. She really does tell you everything. Oh, by the way, I left my Goethe Hotel limited edition flask behind last time I was here. Let me have a look for it. I think I left it over... Wait! Hmm? What is it? You seem pretty <coughs> off today, Serval. It's, um... Right! You remember how you neglected all those flowers to death? I piled them all over there during a bit of spring cleaning and now they smell terrible! So, don't go over there! Seems like a strange reason not to take a look. Plus, am I supposed to believe you were spring cleaning? You must be up to more forbidden research. Uh, am not! How dare you! What do you take your sister for? Never mind. This is your space, and I shouldn't intrude. Forbidden I've got business to take care forbidden. of. Forbidden. Bye for now. Research. Uh, hey! Wait a sec. Uh, right, those intruders. I wanted to ask, what crime have they committed? They're plotting to overthrow the architects and bring harm to the city. Huh. Reminds me of the accusations against me. Kokolia's methods haven't changed. Don't say that, Serval. I know that you're still nursing a grievance against the Supreme Guardian, but. This isn't a joking matter. You're telling me off again? Fine. Whatever, bro. You better be going. Come listen to Pela in my next rehearsal. I will, if I have the time. The coast is clear. You can come out now. lost my cool when he went for his flask. This is bad. Branya's in danger. We have to go save her. Attempting to storm Klopoth Fort by ourselves? Forget it, Zila. 
I don't care how skilled you are, I'm not sending you on a suicide mission. Rest assured, Kokolia may have changed over the years, but she never hurt Branya. I'm certain of that. You sound like Branya herself. I don't get it. You guys are against Kokolia, and yet in some ways, you seem to trust her completely. We thought of a way to persuade Japard. Is Japard going to this over me? Didn't you hear him? He said he needs to take care of a few matters in the city first. If we're fast enough, we can stay out of his way. Come on, let's go to the restricted zone. If we can get ahead of the curve and find the Stellaron, Kokolia will be out of options. Is Branya really safe? You care about her, huh? You must have become close friends. Uh, close is a bit much, but I made her a promise. Relax. She's the strongest girl I've ever seen. <laughs> I can believe that. It said something about level 30 equilibrium. I wonder if that's an option. Oh, I have to beat the mission to return. So anyway, it's not an option. Ooh. Got a trash bin here. Oh. You find a wrinkled pin written flyer in the trash bin written at the top of your flame and you see the rightful right society. Content seems to be trying to convince people who have given up on interests and hobbies due to family and other responsibilities to join this strange organization. Members of the, members of the organization cover for one another help each other get away from family or work on weekends and even weekdays in the pursuit of individual freedom. They call it upholding our rightful rights. Or a strange friend. Actually, I'm a little tempted. Maybe I wish I could spend a day going to whatever I want. By which you mean spend a day asleep in your cabin. Alright, going to the restricted zone. Oh, they've jacked up security, alright. How the heck are we gonna sneak in? Serval, we need one of those brainwaves! Leave it to me. Stick close, guys, and don't get spotted. This is a military base. Trespassers aren't allowed in. Wait, isn't that... <laughs> Serval! Long time no see. Well, if it isn't Franz, long time no see. You still watching the entrance? Well, you see, I... yeah, you haven't changed, Serval. Still nailing us to the wall. So, what brings you over here at this hour? And who are the guys behind you? My brother said the restricted zone energy lines were malfunctioning. Told me it was urgent. He doesn't trust those contracted maintenance workers, so he got me in for free. These guys are my assistants. We need to overhaul all the installations here. Uh, I didn't hear anything about the energy lines malfunctioning. Oh, please. This is a technology division issue. Why would they tell you guys? Come on, let us in already. If the heating system goes down in the middle of the night, are you going to be responsible for all the frozen corpses? N no, that's uh, not something I could handle. <sighs> Seeing as you're Captain Japard's sister, it should be fine. Okay, here are some temporary passes. Oh, and remember to give them back to me when you leave. Thanks, Franz. I'll put in a good word for you with my brother and get him to promote you. No, no, Captain that. Japard hates all that under-the-table stuff. I'd have a better chance if you don't mention me at all. Hey, Haley. How you doing? I'm aware that there are those among you who see the reserve units as a vacation. But let me set one thing straight. You doing are very well. Mistaken. This is the restricted zone. The fragmentum before you conceals monsters that watch your every move. Behind us, 
We have a band of conspirators that have infiltrated the city. The situation is critical. The lazy and undisciplined among you will lose your lives. We're going after Coco. Us. Maybe. As such, starting from today, we will be adding 200 bench presses and 30 extra minutes of one arm planks to our daily drill. Is that clear? Yes, sir. See, that was easy. Yeah, Cocolia. <laughs> You're Jepard's sister, all right. <sighs> I don't want people to see me that way. I'm doing this for you. Otherwise, I wouldn't be using it. Do you see that mechanical gear bridge? When you cross over to the other side, you arrive at hell on Earth. Architects follow Kleepoth? Do they believe in they it? They do. The architects believe that hell can exist on any world. A plight that will inevitably come to be without intervention. We might warm up this planet. In the future, a terrible catastrophe will arrive. If, under Klipoth, the preservation's guidance, we fail to construct a barrier, that catastrophe will sweep away the stars, plunging all worlds into hell. That's the belief of the architects. But for us, hell is an endless fragmentum, a few exhausted Silvermane guards, and the stench of death in the air. If we want to progress further north, we will need to cross that hell. Are you ready? We've come this far. Exactly. We've got nowhere left to retreat. <laughs> Let's go then. First, we need to think of a way to get to the other side. I help set the underlying mechanisms for this type of gear bridge. It's controlled via different terminals in combination. Let's go find them. Is Japard on frontline duty a lot? Yes, but what made you ask that all of a sudden? It's so dangerous. Don't you worry about him? He's a Lando. <sighs> nope. This terminal's offline. We can't control it from here. So what's the plan? Look for another. Every platform linked to the gear bridge should have a similar terminal. I never would have guessed that Jepard and you were brother and sister. I can't say I blame you. We're nothing alike in personality or interests. In our family, we have a strong military tradition going back generations. Many a Lando has died in their prime. There's not a lot of brother and sister time. Everyone just does their best to get on with their life. to five track. Wrong way, buddy. Why are you flying this way? Oh, obstacles in the way I was in the way. <laughs> Silly pointless thing. Darn! Can't activate it. It seems like someone severed the energy supply to the terminals. So someone's deliberately trying to create trouble? I. Huh. You know, the more I think about it, the more it seems deliberate. With the front line on high alert, they must have rotated the bridge to make it impassable. Then they cut off the energy supply to the terminals to avoid accidental repositioning. Or to prevent deserters from escaping. That way, even if the front line were to collapse, the fragmentum monsters wouldn't be able to make it to the other side. Cut off their only retreat. Branya was right. The Silvermane Guards really are risking their lives to protect Bellabok. Just my conjecture, but I doubt it's far from the truth. My brother mentioned that they've had to use extreme measures to repel the Fragmentum monsters. Let's press on. 
We can't activate either of these terminals, so let's look for the energy supply installation itself. Aren't you the maintenance people? What are you doing over here? Can't just go wherever you please in the restricted zone. Get to work! shaped like a giant iron ball and it's behind a gate what are the odds this was it's a stream I could actually catch the and join in because hub. the others were it's streaming it's connected to all the energy lines time. I would have <laughs> thought it covers cool. the entire restricted zone mm. no wonder it's so heavily guarded one unit for everything glad you made a it disaster waiting to happen we learned the hard way you probably played this like as a month ago. As long as we can gain access permissions to the hub, we can operate the gear bridge terminals. Wouldn't this cause a commotion? That's why I told them we were here for urgent maintenance. The frontline equipment needs servicing just as much as the rest. So that's why you went for maintenance. Way to go, Sir Vol. I thought you just came up with it on the spot. Come on, let's see if that guard over there will let us pass. Are you the emergency engineers? I saw you guys hanging around. Did you find the problem? Um, I heard it was Don hanging in a different so Don hung in a different type, but I could be wrong. I saw a picture and it looked kind of like him. If you let us in, we can do a I didn't read what it was. Inspection. I've worked on various iterations. It had dark hair. It was like Don hung with dark hair. <laughs> no, 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 no can do. Pink five star. No one gets near the energy hub without the security captain's encryption key. Uh, not even the Supreme Guardian? The Supreme Guardian? Hey, no games, you hear? Pers no dice, person who told me person. was watching the stream, it was, uh, ah, darn. Death, Am Death Amera, you see the name, uh, up, up there, second on the list. Key, right? Which captain should I bother, then? Uh, uh, captain Dunn's resting up ahead. Go and find him. If he grants you permission, I won't stand in your way. Now, uh, next here is Blade. He comes Done? 719, I'm sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why well, did you I didn't know so? his name. And... No problem. We'll be back in a bit. Yeah, I didn't know. You were asking because you thought that. Sir Vol, this Dunn, do you know him? You bet I do. We go way back. He's easy to talk to. Watch me persuade him. Hey, done! It's been a while. I didn't know you made security, Captain. Serval, it's been a long time. You're still so... <clears throat> you look good. Allow me to introduce my assistants to you. They help me take care of business at the workshop. Everyone, this is Captain Dunn, an old friend of mine. He used to be an ace on the keys in Is the band. Blaine in the story, or are they brand new? Oh, like, is it a new world? New planet, maybe? Too? Cool! Pleased to meet you. Great team. Something smells weird. Great team. No. Oh, <clears throat> hello. Oh, what's that weird smell? <clears throat> Zachary! How many days has it been since you showered? I, I showered right before my shift. Hmm? What did you say? I... I haven't showered in two days, sir. Unacceptable! Especially in front of visitors. He's in the story. He's one of the stellar hunters. Oh, okay. It's not a big deal, Dunn. You know, 
if you get a chance, would you want to get on stage want, with The other again? one I know is Kafka or something. Some My like, keyboard guy is pretty good, some but Eastern European I still name. miss our military Choosing days playing pre. in the band. Oh, that was a long time ago, Serval. I haven't touched a keyboard in ages. Besides, I'm stationed here all year round. I'm afraid I don't get many chances to return to the city. Though I don't stand on ceremony. Uh, how may I assist you? If everything's in order, you'd better head back to the city. It's not safe here. I've checked the lines. There don't seem to be any major problems. All that's left is the energy hub. The guard over there said that I needed an encryption key to open the gate. Can you help me out? <sighs> we'll be on our way after we run the checkup. Anything wrong done? Sorry, Serval, but can you tell me what Captain Jappard told you? Huh? Oh, uh... Let me think. Hey, sis, the energy supply lines in the restricted zone have malfunctioned. Those useless engineers can't find the problem. Something like that? And may I ask, when did he contact you? Uh... This morning? Yeah, that's right. He's he can't make eye contact. Your eyes are going right? different directions. That's why he popped around and asked the favor. Uh huh. Captain Jappard just returned to the front line. I could reconfirm with him. Huh? Uh, hold up, he's back. That can't be. He was still in the city a little while ago. <sighs> you haven't changed, Serval. You're still a lousy liar. These people you've brought, they're, and I were they're not workshop the assistants, thing. right? <sighs> Serval, it's not that I don't want to help you, but you should remember that I'm a Bellabog Silvermane guard. How about this? You can leave, and I won't tell anyone about this incident, but the outsiders must remain. <sighs> there goes the negotiation. Serval, you should go. Sorry about getting involved like this. It looks like this is going to end in a fight after all. I brought you guys here and I'm standing with you till the end. Dunn, this concerns the fate of Bellabog. No, the fate of our whole world. Please, don't stand in our way. Serval! We used to rehearse together every day, you must understand! My rock and roll soul is to uphold the dignity of a soldier. <laughs> Fight. Yep. <laughs> Stay calm. Alright, he's useless. I don't know who he is. Yeah, I don't know. Naughty child. Are made to be broken. There you go. <laughs> Stay close. Here stands the Silverman Guard. Let's begin another one. Never ending. I'll leave the rest. We're just having fun. You. Oh dear, I lost one. <laughs> Can't restore him because he's already out. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Ouch. There we go. What are you waiting for? That to betray my customers. I charge extra. <laughs> Much better. That'll take more than medicine. <laughs> I owe you one. On my mark. Not a 
Sorry, Dunn. Time for a little nap. <laughs> He's just unconscious. Don't worry. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Strong, though. Wildfire lacks people like him. Got it! The encryption key! Quick, before we attract attention, let's... I think we attracted attention. That's the enemy attack alarm. Every Silvermane guard in the reserve zone just became our enemy. Come on, let's take them out. We've made it up till now. I could lose an arm and a leg for all I care. I have to lay eyes on the Stellaron. Quick, back to the energy supply hub. Anyone that tries to stop us is gonna find out a thing or two. If I'd known he had the encryption key from the start, I could have snuck in and taken it off him myself. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, Sila. Activating the gear bridge alone would have been enough to expose us. Hello. They're coming. Hold on. <laughs> Take by surprise. To betray my customers, I charge extra. Rules are made to be broken. I'm okay. Are you going to try to get blade? You probably don't have very many five stars. There's like so few characters in the game there because they're a good choice. Can't you? To betray my customers, I charge extra. Use consumables. Trying to get him. I have 70 pity and 10 pull. But... Here we go. Let's do this one. I forgot I had 20 of these. Maybe we can get lucky and get a 5 star here. the worst one I could have gotten. Or probably a weapon I could never use. of the past. That's that little girl.
super in position one. What does that mean? It says harmony. So that means you have to find somebody in harmony. You have harmony, but you already have a four star dance dance dance. You do not have a good one. Little girl in the light cone is Bronya as a child. Are you kidding? That's Bronya? It does kind of look like her, doesn't it? And that does look like Kokolia. Whoa. That's interesting. As a character, it's probably more a fit if you have a Bronya. A delicate operation. To betray my customers, I charge extra. Survive or be destroyed. There is no terrible choice. sense. He's going to die every time I use it. That's better. Still choose a playable. Not yet. Focus on her face very much. Kind of made not clear when you first see her, and her back is always turned around. Who the heck added that? Try not to win over people, I guess. Your bridge control terminal. <laughs> Still found it. That's it. I've reset the energy system. Let's go and operate the gear bridge hmm, terminal. I wonder about that. Maybe I'll, she'll have a change of heart. Maybe I'll be able to convince her to be a yep. good person. Then what's our plan? Well, either we reason with them or charge straight through the blockade. Let's play it Probably by ear. We have to fight that thing. Uh, careful! There's a big guy up ahead. There's no other way. We'll have to fight. Hm. If we can beat Svarog, we can beat this one. Let's go. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Let's go. Also, you see. Rules are made to be broken. Nothing of the weight the survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Time for a shot. I'm fine. 
Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. I owe you one. Stand down. More business, eh? I need that electric person. Naughty child. Nap time. Let's make it quick. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Time for a shot. I owe you one. Let's begin. We're just having fun. Survive or be destroyed. Well, be my there is no other choice. More business, eh? Santa's pretty good. <laughs> A delicate operation. Energy restored. System online. Certification enabled. Come on, come on! 40%. 65%. 85%. We did it. We've gained access to the gear bridge. Let's move. Perfect. Okay. We need to get to the front line. We could have a problem. Your brother may be there. He probably is. Hopefully we don't bump into him, but if we do, we'll just have to try and talk to him. We'll beat him up. Are you sure you can convince him? I've probably got a 30% chance, or less. <sighs> Meaning it could end in a fight. Haven't you noticed yet? We're tearing Most families of our apart. Ends in a fight. We need to be sure. First, we so separated Bronya and Nicole, and now we're separating her family. Of course. My word is my bond. I said that I'd stand with you to the end, and I won't go back on that promise. Mm -hmm. Before our next expedition, I need Himeko to teach me some negotiation skills. Beating people up all the time is cramping my elegance. <laughs> I haven't fought Himeko. with Jacquard since he enlisted. He could never beat me when you're a little. Himeko. But now. I must think I'm about to die here. This. Give me a it really is you. Wait, Japard, Listen to me. When the sentry reported to me, I thought there must have been a misunderstanding. The enemy alarm had to be unrelated to your entry into the restricted zone. Perhaps the intruders had taken you hostage. And yet... Step away from the intruder, Serval. Walk over slowly and stand behind me. You're different from them. I'm sorry. We have an understanding. I stand with them. Wow. Give Separated me a few minutes, family. just a few. I'll explain every... Enough, Serval. <sighs> Have you forgotten where we are? We Landals ought to know this place better than anywhere. The outer reaches of the front line against the Fragmentum. Bellavog's most strategic protective fortress. Every Silver Main guard here. Every person here is ready to sacrifice themselves. Ready to spill their blood for Bellavog at a moment's notice. Yet here you are, leading fugitives into the restricted zone. Attacking my Silvermane comrades in arms. Hijacking the energy hub. Are you really worthy of the Landau name? Why do you think I've come the Lawrence clan. We found a way to dispel the Eternal Freeze, to seal the Fragmentum. It might be the only lifeline this world has left. If that were true, why wouldn't you report to Madame Kokolia? 
Why would you sneak into the restricted zone and create chaos? You don't understand. The one preventing us from getting close to the truth is Kokolia herself. You have all seen the Supreme Guardian in person. Do you think you can act as you please because she didn't recognize your version of events? Listen to me, Chapard. The origin and spread of the Fragmentum is linked to the Stellaron. The meteorite in the Architect's records, it's... I know about the Stellaron. It's exactly what the fugitives behind you are seeking. But the Madam Guardian has already revealed the truth to me. These people have ulterior motives, Serval. They want to steal this treasure from the Architects. The Madam Guardian has warned me before that you were indulging in fantasy. That you'd been exposed to forbidden knowledge. And that you would bring destruction down upon Bellabog. I believe you, Serval. I believe you think you're acting with loyalty to the people. It's just... Guards, formation, arrest these people. We could be inundated with Fragmentum monsters at any moment. We have no time to waste on them. The forbidden is only forbidden to conceal the truth within. Kokoli is afraid that we'll seize on this knowledge, that the truth will spread far and wide. To save the world, we must risk it all. I've said my piece. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. Regardless, you should know by now your sister's never been one to back down. If there's something or someone you can't abide, you should stand up and resist. And if there's something you uphold, you should uphold it to the very end. Well said. Save your explanation for the judge. You are charged with sabotaging the Silver Main Guard Restricted Zone. In my capacity as captain, I hereby order that these fugitives be arrested. This isn't like our childhood game, Serval. You won't get any leniency from me. The barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero, Jepard. Uh, didn't I tell you? All our negotiations end in combat. There we go. Now we can use Wilt. Of course, he's almost dead. Oh, really? uh, that hurts. Stay calm. Calm your body and mind. <laughs> what are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. <laughs> Time for a shot. Here comes the medicine. Timely treatment. Stay focused. Take courage. I'm okay. Leave the rest to me. <laughs> We're just having fun. <laughs> Better up. <laughs> this ends here. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Stand down. Sampo Koski always takes care of his friends. Before you survive or be destroyed, there is no other choice. Simple Kaki always takes care of his friends. 
Only four percent. We can make this last forever. Favor the bigger up. Our position is solid. Calm your body and mind. What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Let's make it quick. What about this? Naughty children, don't listen. Here comes the medicine. Timely treatment. On my command. Alright, down to 1%. For glory! You can still no, walk away. Ignore everyone else. Adios, Jupar. Can we get Jupar too? He's not dead. This guy knows how to put up a fight. I've never come up against anyone this relentless. He just won't go down. Let's fight him again. He's as stubborn as I am. It could be an argument or a fight. He'll do both to the death. That's why he bugs the heck out of me. That's enough, Jupar. Take a look around you. You're the last man standing. Even if I am, I won't yield. We don't need you to yield. We don't want you to yield through force of arms. That wouldn't be a victory for us. Knock him out. Yeah, our goal is the same as yours, Sir Balls and Branyas. We just want to preserve this world. There's no reason to turn against each other. Chapard, brother, surely now you can see the need for pragmatism. Even if you don't believe my outsider friends, you should believe me. Maybe I've wasted your trust. In which case, believe Branya. Lady Branya? Telling him everything you know and showing him her life. There's nothing more to say, Jepard. The decision is yours. As a captain of the Silver Mane Guards, I am duty bound to carry out the orders of the Supreme Guardian. Final answer? But. Lady Bronya is the commanding officer for the front lines. According to military protocol, if the front line directives of the commanding officer clash with those of the architects you behind the, the letter at front. the soldier must front. remain at their post and await further directives. Thanks for understanding. For the Silvermane Guards, the Guardian's orders are paramount and absolute. But there is something of equal importance in the oath we take. The people of Felibog. If we lose the people, we lose the reason for our existence. Our fight with the Fragmentum Monsters is for the sake of preservation. But our fight with you? I fail to see the purpose. If you are truly able to prevent our endlessly unfolding misfortunes, then the people of Bellabog are indebted to you. But if you are using lies to mask your true intentions, using my sister and Branya for your own ends, I swear by Klepoth that I will carry out your punishment without an ounce of mercy. They're not lying, I promise you. You must be Zila. You are a skilled fighter. Your combat style is nothing like that of the guards. Regardless of what you believe, these guys have been a great help to the underworld. Many people would vouch for them. Hmm. I'm sure. If you want to advance further northward, you must traverse an area entirely corroded by the Fragmentum. It's the only way to get to the snow plains on the other side. 
The guards can give you some time before the next wave of attacks is upon us. As soon as the restricted zone gate is open, the monsters on the other side will turn out in full force. The guards will do their best to stall them and buy you some time. Once you've broken through the front line, there's nothing more we can do for you. You'll have to find out for yourselves what lies within the Northern Fragmentum. So, have you made up your minds? Alright. Understood. Keep your weapons close. This will be a fierce fight. Guards! Open the gate! Look like a chainsaw. Are you dealing with attacks like this every day? It's a common occurrence. Guards, formation! <laughs> well, I'm gonna make sure I don't owe the guards any favors when this is done. For Bronya, for Brill Bellabog, for Universal Peace. Here they come! Steal yourselves! So now we get more characters? They're gonna help us? I won't go easy on you. I'll have to first. We're just having fun! Try this on for size! Let's make it quick. Naughty children, don't listen. Nap time. Uh, rules are made to be broken! I'm fine. You know nothing of the weight behind this power. Witness the stars shatter before you. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Barely touched any of Think we'll start with you, I guess? <laughs> Sip Okoski always takes care of his friends. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Time for a shot. Favor the vigor of Seems you need to experience. Stand down. Sounds like more business knocking. <laughs> well, how many of them are there? The last one. More than there? These guys are nothing. <laughs> Hold the line. The customer is king. And for me to betray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little. Ooh, something. close call there. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Leave the rest to me. Not very useful, but we got lots of oh, yeah, We're just having fun. Try this on for size. Let's make it quick. Nice. Big break there. Uh, rules are made to be broken. He was key in this fight, that's for sure. Did like 90% of the damage. Baseball bat. I told you, Jepard, the barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero. This is only the first wave. They'll have reassembled soon. I have to. 
Hey, Mr. Silvermane, listen to your sister. Say hi, Firecracker. Oh boy, do you look funny with this lighting. Outsiders, Outsiders. 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 Zila, the second wave hasn't started yet. Make the most of this opportunity and make a break for it. Huh? Uh, Servo, aren't you gonna look for the Stellaron with us? My brother can't hold them back by himself. He wasted a lot of energy on us. He's my responsibility. Besides, He's like, if I'm not thanks. here to help, I don't know what might happen in the next wave. I want to go with you. I do. I always wanted to I'm catch a glimpse cool. of the Stellaron with my own eyes, and now it's so close. But I can't abandon my brother. Really, they usually the like the ideas, but maybe I'm a Landau. It's up to you now. I believe in you. You've given me new hope. Get hold of the Celeron before Kakalia realizes what's happening. Charge. Hey, Marsh. Hot blooded trailblazer. Don't forget to take a picture of the Celeron for me. Say no more. We're good at this. Don't worry. I have no idea how to pull out a camera. They keep saying daily mission. Take a picture, and I'm like, how do you do that? Fragmentum activity is intensifying. Something's happening on Urelo 6. Shouldn't we go down there, Hemiko? You are down there, Well, <laughs> Have faith in them. Besides, this is his first trailblazing expedition. How will he be able to look back fondly without a few twists and turns? Are you bored, Welt? I understand. But we have lots of opportunities ahead of us. Let's leave the memories of this expedition for them. So you think they'll be safe, right? Yes. We haven't seen any Eon or Emanator level imaginary reactions. Relax. This is a young person's adventure. We shouldn't interfere. At most, we could offer a little off site assistance. There we go. Is this the fragmentum Japard was talking about? Compared to this, the corrosion we saw in Backwater Pass pales into insignificance. How can we pinpoint the Stellaron? Srival said that the Stellaron was very likely hidden in the snow plains north of Bellabog. If we want to get there, I'm afraid we'll have to find the exit to this fragmentum maze first. Guys, does this place feel weird to you? It feels like... like there are loads of eyes staring at us. This place makes my flesh crawl. Like there are insects under my skin. We have no guide and no way of detecting the Stellaron. We'll just have to advance gradually. And cautiously. Don't be disheartened. The stronger the fragmentum contamination, the closer we are to the source. Oh, look! Up ahead on the ground! What is that? Be careful. I think this is. Bronius! We found it in the orphanage. Yeah, so she's... she's been here already? Whoa! Quick, look! That's Branya! Huh? Is that Kakolia too? Found them. No, it isn't them. What? It must be... a kind of echo? Some type of residual energy replicated by the Fragmentum. Which means they were definitely here, right? And it looks like they went that way! <laughs> Just in time. We had no idea which direction to take. Let's go. Snow glow. What do I do with that? I thought that guy was gonna attack me. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's because it got dark. I had it tuned for during the day, and now it's that nighttime, so the it's canceling out the light. This is a complex mechanism. How did they get past? Oh, I knew Usually this would be simple. Oh, wait! Wasn't there some big energy hub-looking thing back in that empty area? Let's go back and take a look. Maybe it's linked to this gate. <sighs> I can't say I like the idea of interacting with our surroundings, especially this deep into the Fragmentum. However... However... Three twin. There's no other way. Desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> Even Don Hong the Sensible has his adventurous days. Hmm, one light. I see four lights on the gate. It worked, right? But the gate didn't move an inch. <sighs> Are there other units around? Hmm. It's clear that whoever designed these mechanisms didn't want outsiders to get through too easily. Let's keep looking for the energy hub. Look! Over there! I think I can see the next unit! Oh, I see it too. Let's go! I'm gonna check his character because he's like low HP. The attack wasn't that strong. He's 40. Oh, he only has a three star. Oh, this is a huge part portion. Maybe I should uh, switch. No. Oh, and Sampos. I guess I could level it up. You just need to spend on three stars, but yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. Starts with these. Nope. That means it probably has to go to that one first. solution. Electronics does not have to go in the same order. I noticed in this game if you want the circuits to go you have to go in the exact order. Aww. I have to rotate there's a guy there. Choice. There you go. 
powered up world. The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Are those monsters guarding the energy hub? Seems like it. Hmm. Strange. Fragmentum monsters would use. Okay, we got two. Did you hear that? This mechanism must be on now. Come on, let's find the next one. Where is the next mechanism? Oh, behind that gate. There's no switch. We need to find a way around. I've never seen such a desolate place. At least in Rivet Town, you could tell that people used to live there. Rivet Town is only at the outstretched fingertips of the corrosion. Now, we're deep in the Fragmentum's heart. New Fragmentum. What is it? He's with me, I don't need a cell phone. It appears to be a rift in space, torn open by the fragmentum as it erodes reality. This scientific name is uh, Corrosion. Cavern of Corrosion. No one knows for sure what kind of space the caverns are connected to. However, research does indicate the valuable reality data is often scattered within these caverns. As with the calyxes, the derivatives of the fragmentum always carry unidentified risks. Please exercise extra caution if you wish to explore further. Ah. Uh -huh. Relics. Okay, so this one to beat to get relics. Now it's in the list. Alright. Not gonna fight that one anymore. Oh, he took us right to this one. Calm your body and mind. <laughs> Better up. Now won't stop me. You're in bad shape. Welt has arrived. Cut three. to ask you a question. Ask away. Do you still remember those dreams you mentioned to us? I know you're wide awake right now, but I need you to try. See if you can recall the voice you heard. Close eyes and meditate. You try to recall the dreams. As your train of thought deepens, the voice comes to you. There's a voice calling out to Cocolia. The voice, it knows where we're it knows we're getting close. Try to repeat the whispers you heard. This is merely speculation. But perhaps the voice you heard is the Stellaron somehow conveying information to Cocolia. And the one in your body is resonating with the Stellaron on this world. Huh? You mean that Stellarons can communicate? I've never heard that before. Well, there's never been a human that could accommodate a Stellaron in their body. 
Bellarin knows we're here. Then, aren't we walking straight into a trap? <sighs> yes. And Branya may well be the bait. Don Hung's speculations are usually right on the money. But even if we've guessed right, we can't go home now. <laughs> There's no way back anyway. At least Kokolia won't catch us off guard now. So what if it's an ambush? We're not about to lose now. I have to save Branya, beat Kokolia, and crush this Stellaron thing to dust. Want to get to the other side, we'll need to rotate the gear bridge again and go around. That would be a wall. Delicate operation. If there's medicine, it'll come in handy. <laughs> come on, Ned. Oh, I can't get through. That's what I wanted to go through right there. Oh, I don't want to fight you. See a way to get through. There's only one turning thing over here. Do, 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 do.
can't climb in this game. To get to the other side, we'll need to rotate the gear. Oh, Here we go. I see, okay. I needed to go that way to that way, and I can walk around. I knew there was some kind of a connection thing I had to figure out. Be a little longer than I hoped, but what? Okay, gate's open. Done! It took some effort, but we finally cracked these mechanisms. We're one step closer to Bronya. Let's move! And then make it easy to get back to where we are. these echoes too? Yes. The fragmentum here seems to have made a special connection with Kokolia. It's repeatedly generating forms in her image. I don't understand. Even if the truth is as you say, every generation of Guardian has resisted the call of the Stellaron. And all of them have been wrong, Mother. Do you still not see, Bronya? There is no right or wrong here. Some of them acted out of human pride, others out of human short-sightedness. Our ancestors, including Elisa Rand, spent their whole lives trying to prolong this civilization. Then, after all fell still, their memories were scattered by the blizzard. They spent Lifetimes writing songs of praise that lauded the bravery of humanity, but couldn't spare the time to gaze up into the stars. To those entities of greater magnificence in the heavens above, a thousand years is but a passing moment. The attainments of insignificant beings, nothing more than a footnote. I shall not follow the Guardian's misguided steps down that blind alley of narcissism. If persistence is futile, then one must choose a new beginning. But, Klipoff, the Preservation! Are they not one of the magnificent entities you speak of? Is it not their strength that has sheltered Velabog this entire time? The Preservation. Has the preservation ever looked humanity in the eye? Nothing more than an arrogant delusion of the architects. Oh, you will hear 
The real voice of magnificence, Branya. Then you will understand my choice. Hmm. Yeah, you're right, this lighting is kind of weird. Because I was on vacation. Alright, so this is a, a person to fight. Whoa, check this place out! Tables and sentry posts? There must have been silver main guards stationed here once. If there were, they left a long time ago. There might be valuable information here. Uh, shame we don't have time to look for it. I think I'm actually going to cut it and put a cut in the video. I bet it's going to be a really long fight. And then I've got to probably fight Kokolia or make friends with her. But the way these games work, it's usually going to be a fight. So I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in the video. Like I said, um, this timing was weird. I came back from vacation just recently. Let me see. Oh, Lady Khan's on. We can go ahead and raid her. Alright. Say hi to Lady Khan and Max. Max is her dog. 